again, this is Robert Veach here. This is my video review of the Astro AI brand, their digital multimeter. It's true RMS readings and it's a 6,000 count. This is the box that came in. We're going to open this up and show you what's inside it. Got the instruction manual right there. The unit itself. And a little box on the side, which has the extras. We're going to take this out and show you what these are. So it's got the cables for measuring and putting on the input voltages and current and all the other measurements. And it has a temperature probe and the unit itself, an instruction booklet. Really nice unit. You could tell it has this outer shell on there and a nice stand to keep this thing up vertical. And here's where the battery gets put in there. And uh, this has a lot of interesting features. We're going to go over them right now. So let's just turn it on right there as I talk about the features. This has an LED intelligent jack on here that lights up. We're going to test that auto ranging AC DC currents, capacitance, resistance, frequency, temperature, continuity, and non contact voltage function. There's a sensor right there. It has 6,000 counts, and the higher the counts, the more accurate it is. Auto ranging, accurate measurement, AC, DC, as I mentioned, current resistance, all these other great things. You can use this in your automobile, your home, you can measure diodes and frequency. We're going to test some of those things out. This is a really handy to have something like this in your house if you're ever testing your electrical system or your car, your 12 volt DC. This is excellent for that. The multimeter has passed over voltage category 3, 600 volts, and CE safety standard. It has anti-burn with double ceramic fuse and thermistor protection circuit inside here. Fuses can be replaced inside if you ever exceed the current limits on here. It has a backlit display and a flashlight included. And uh, the LED, the uh, LCD screen will change to red while detecting live wires. We're going to test that out. So the first thing I'm going to test is I turn the meter to NCV non-contact and I have an outlet right here. I can go near the outlet and you can see it's letting me know that there is voltage present there so that you don't have to actually connect to that voltage for safety. Now when you first turn this on to voltage, you notice that these start blinking. It's telling you that the leads have to go right there. So the first thing I'm testing, I have it on voltage and I hit the function button to go to AC and you see that I've got it across my 120 volts and it's showing 121.67 and there is the 60 hertz so it's actually giving me the frequency that's coming to my house. Another thing that's interesting is when you get to this higher voltage it does go red the screen you can see right there to let you know that you're measuring a higher voltage. Now I have a switch, switch to ohms of course these lit up also letting me know and if you short them out you see that it's going to go to the low ohms right there and we can now measure resistance if we like so here's the resistance box and i could check it as a low medium and high and it's giving me there's 2.1k and there is 219k and there is 15 ohms so it's matching the box values on the meter now if you want to measure capacitance you can hit the function button right there and you see it's showing capacitance now matching the values that I have in this capacitor box. So that's really handy if you got capacitors in a drawer or you have a box like this you want to test it. It's going to leave you the capacitance values. And if you have diodes you want to check, you go to the diode position, hit the function button and you see the diode symbol there. And if you don't uh, bias it properly, it doesn't show anything. And then if you do bias it correctly, you see how the cathode's there and the anode's there. And it shows you the forward voltage, 0.53. So you know that that's a functional diode. Now, when you go to temperature, centigrade and Fahrenheit, the unit has a thermistor built into it. It's measuring temperature. And you see it's 19 degrees centigrade or 66 degrees Fahrenheit. And then you have this module that you can put in there and it has the polarities on there. It shows the negative and the positive. 
So you want to put that on correctly like that. You plug that in to the unit. And now it's measuring the temperature that is on this tiny probe right here. So if I touch that, you see how the temperature is going up. So that's really good for measuring electronic devices. And because it's a really small probe on there, as you can see, you'll be able to measure things with a really rapid temperature change. And that's important for electronics. And of course, it's excellent for measuring DC voltage on the voltage scale right there. It's on DC. And I have a, a uh, power supply right here. And I could change the voltage, of course and it's tracking that voltage very accurately, letting me know that the power supply is working. So let's see if I can measure current here going through this headlight. This is a DC 12 volt headlight for a car. I got it about 10.3 volts on here. So I'm on the amp scale and the meter blinked to let me know that I have to transfer this to the 10 amp scale. And now we should be measuring current through this bulb. And you can see it's showing 2.9, it's matching the meter, letting me know that that is the current that is going through this bulb DC. When you turn the unit on, there is a little LED light right there. As you can see, you hold the light on right there and it comes on. It's just bright enough and it's going to shine onto your electrical box so that you can be measuring things in total darkness. Another great feature of this multimeter is that it comes with a battery installed. You don't have to install any 9 volt battery or any AAA batteries. It's already installed for you. And here's an example. I'm in my lab right here and I have a frequency counter going into the meter connections right there. And it's nice. It gives me the RMS voltage and the frequency 2.86 kilohertz. It's matching my frequency counter right there. And this way I know the VU level in millivolts as well as the frequency. So that's a really excellent function to have on a multimeter. So what do we think about the Astro AI brand or digital multimeter, the with true RMS 6,000 counts and an LED intelligent jack I showed. This is a really nice all ranging multimeter. As I demonstrated, it will measure just about anything you can throw at it in your lab or your house. Excellent product. I'm gonna give it a full five star rating. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you're alerted to new video uploads. And if you thought this review was helpful, please hit the like button. There'll be an ordering link in the information section of this video review. Please use that link when you order this product to help support this channel. I hope this video review helped you with your buying decision. Thank you for watching.